using the Laplace transform to solve this linear system of linear equations. So apply the Laplace transform on both sides I, uh, on two equations I have. This one. do it again for second equation all right now let's take a look at the conditions so i love to see zeros y zero equals zero y prime zero equals zero X prime of zero equals zero. All right, now simplify this a little bit. Uh, let's see. Solve for X S. I have uh, moved this, so I have two over S cubed divided by S squared, two over S to the fifth. And with this one, X of zero equals eight, so negative eight, positive eight, positive eight over S squared. Now positive a s over s squared, which is positive a over s. For this one, uh, positive s squared capital y of s, negative s squared capital y of s over s squared, negative capital y of s. All right. Down here, solve for this one again. Four over s squared divided by s squared four over s to the fourth. X of zero equal eight parts of AS over S square parts of A over S. This one plus so positive Y. Okay. Now X of S equal this and X of S also equal this, so set these equal to each other and solve for capital Y of S. Okay, they drop out. Capital Y of S moved over to one side. So I have two, uh, two capital Y of S equals two over S to the fifth minus four over S to the fourth. Then divide both sides by two. So I have one over S to the fifth minus two over S to the fourth. Then uh, apply the inverse on both sides. I have Y of T equals for 1 over 4 factorial t to the 4 minus 2, third, 2 over 3 factorial times t cubed. Okay? So the reason you have 1, fourth, uh, one over 4 factorial is you need to have 4 factorial over s to the fifth in order to get t to the fourth, right? But initially it doesn't have 4 factorial, so when I multiply by 4 factorial, I have to divide by 4 factorial to come inside. That's why I have 1 over 4 factorial, and same reason for this one. 3 factorial on top, 3 factorial on bottom. So when you when you take the last one from t to the fourth, you have to have 4 factorial over s to the fifth, right? And 4 factorial on top, signify which 4 factorial on the bottom, which gives you 1, and similar to this one. Alright, so that's why I think I'm going to call this one, this two. So use either equation 1 or equation 2 to solve for x of t. So I will use equation 2. So x of s equals 4 over s to the 4 is plus a over s plus capital Y of s and capital Y of s is equal to this. Okay. Simplify this, I have 2 over s to the 4 plus a over s plus 1 over s to the 5th. Sorry, you cannot see it. So basically what I did was uh, this one, right? equals this and y of s, so I plug in y of s, which is this in here. Simplify this, this is and denominator, combine the top together, which gives me to rewrite this, right? Now apply the, the, the inverse on both sides. Again, similar to this one. 3 factorial on top, 3 factorial on bottom. So I have uh, 2 over 3 factorial t cubed. This one is it's just simply 8. But this one, similar to this one, right? 4 factorial on top, 4 factorial on the bottom. 
So I have I said whatever well, for Apollo T to the force. Uh, it's okay to leave it like this or you can multiply this out. It's up to you. Okay? So this is your equation uh, system uh so this is so S T and Y T is all your solutions. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.